I'll tell you one thing that has been catching me out recently, and it ties into a story we're going to talk about in a minute, you know, vaccinations here in the UK. Now, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm genuinely not. I, I don't buy that this vaccine is the, the, the sort of end of mankind as we know it bullshit. Okay, I just, I don't. From what I've seen and what I know, I've observed, I just don't. However... I believe, my personal belief, is it, it should be everyone's choice, whether they are vaccinated, whether they have something put into their body. It should be a person's choice because you, you should have sovereign control of your body. Injecting shit into people without permission is what third world fucking countries do to people. We're not supposed to do it here. And it looks more and more like here in the UK we're going to be clamping down on those that don't vaccinate and you know you won't get your vaccine passport if that happens it's still an if in this country and it's like a social credit system isn't it and that's that's compelling people which is against the law it is illegal um however i believe emergency measures can overcome pretty much any law if you decide it but it, it really does bother me that people decide they don't want it for whatever reason. It's none of our fucking business. Are uh, not only being compelled by governments um, and by chain stores making their own rules and things of that nature, it's that they're being compelled by us. Um, I could disagree with someone who, who didn't want a vaccination. But at the end of that conversation... The conversation ends. That's that's it. It's finished. But we're seeing more and more of people being demonised, accused of being morons or murderers or whatever if they don't want the vaccine. It doesn't seem to matter what their reasons are. For example, although I might believe the vaccine is, is probably safe, I don't say definitely because I don't know. Other people might be uncomfortable with not knowing more about it. And I, I find that perfectly reasonable. Why wouldn't it be reasonable? Everyone has a different amount of risk that they are willing to accept in any situation based on any situation. And for some people, the risk of COVID is seen as lesser than the risk of a vaccine. Now, you might think they're right. You might think they're wrong. Scientists might say they're wrong. They might be wrong. But for me, that's that's their reason for not wanting something put inside their body. And I, I do honestly believe we have to respect that. And if, if people are anti-vaxxers, are we really helping them by saying, get it in you, fucking get that fucking thing in you. Are we really helping the situation by doing that? By not being open and honest and allowing strange stories to take on narratives of their own because we just want to silence these people and make them shut up and do as, do as they're told. And then if you look on the pro-vax side, oh, there's some magnificent shit heels there because they're always like, everyone should wear a mask down at fucking three years old. Clearly, they've never had a fucking three-year-old. Which, by the way, some councils in the UK have now decided that primary school children should wear masks all day. They can change them at lunchtime. This is insanity. Nobody recommends this. No scientific group recommends this. No one but local councillors have taken on themselves. So when someone asked why, they said, well, it could help with normalisation. Their family might be more willing to wear a mask if the child's forced to wear one. Is no one else uncomfortable with this? based on poor testing and poor models, we, we, we're drifting into a horribly authoritarian state. My son will not be wearing a mask to school. Now, the council have said, some, one Roman Catholic school in particular said, well, you won't come in. Finish. But that's illegal. But it doesn't matter. And others have said, well, your child can come in with them, but they'll have to sit on their own all day away from everybody, not having interaction. And when I see things like that, I get angry. I get really fucking angry. 
And then I go on Twitter, the Birdie Hell site, and I see people supporting it. And I realise that, you know what? We're fucking lost. We're absolutely lost. Why do we have to be this way? If I can say, yeah, I'm all right with the vaccine, I'm all right with somebody not being all right with the vaccine. Even when they sit on Twitter going, You fucking stupid, you it's poison, it'll give me open up your body, it'll blunt me a third eye. And all this, <laughs> it's fine, you know, you do you. Uh, well, those people that aren't vaccinated will kill Granny. Well, Granny's been vaccinated, and apparently in the latest tests, the Pfizer and the, the AstraZeneca one, Oxford AstraZeneca, Reduce hospitalization by over 83% in the over 80s, the most at risk groups. Reduces death by over 80%, the chance of death. It's working. That's great. That's fucking great. Let's not stress about the rest now. The rest will get in there. And if some people don't vaccinate, that's fine. And if they get poorly, maybe they'll change their mind or maybe they'll get over it and carry on. You know, it's not an automatic death sentence. We need to just chill the fuck out now. We've allowed ourselves to be locked down despite evidence not really supporting much of it and very, very dismissive attitudes to the government ratified numbers of people who are going to die because of lockdowns. We just ignored them. We've handled the whole thing badly. Maybe it's time we all just chilled the fuck out. Because I'm no expert on virology or whatever it's called, and I'm certainly no expert on vaccines. Uh, but neither are most of you fuckers either. And, you know, when doctors say shit, it doesn't mean they're actually right. A lot of the time it's an informed opinion, and they can still be north and south, you know, east and west. We need, as, a, as people, just to take a fucking deep breath and step back a little now. Let those who wish to vaccinate, vaccinate. They'll be fine. Well, some won't. Some will get ill. Some will die. It's the nature of these things. Let those that don't vaccinate deal with themselves. Some of them will get ill and some of them will die. That's the nature of these things. But maybe if we just did take a breath, step back, around we we might not focus only on COVID-19 and start dealing with all the other fucking problems we've got that have been ignored whilst we got wrapped up in this shit by our government and the media and people can't just blame the government and the media people and look at what shit we'll ignore we'll ignore that it's all gone tits up in Europe because we're FBPE and it has all gone tits up in Europe with their vaccination that's fucking hilarious didn't order any the Macrons were saying that the AstraZeneca worthless vaccine, that English vaccine, a roast beef, <laughs> the roast beef vaccine is no good. Now, this data's come out, they're like, no, it's good, but of course now all the French people are going, you said it was shit, we're not having that. There ain't no French vaccine on the horizon. Everyone wants the Pfizer. <laughs> right now, everyone wants the Pfizer. So yeah, let's just... Take a step back, no matter how evangelically convinced you are that you are correct, remember that you might not be. Maybe the vaccine will have long-term consequences. Maybe it won't. You make your decision, and that's what I believe in. You make your decision. If you're an adult, it's your choice. Well, it might kill granny. Well, do you know what? Many things will. Probably pneumonia. Possibly a bus. There's no way of knowing. Occasionally, it's even a bulldozer. <laughs>